This is one of the realest scenes I've seen in the movie in a very long time. And it made me cry three times in the theaters. I'm a person who hates, really, really hates being out of control of their body and has been force fed death throughout the younger years of their life. This scene of puss constantly running away from death and seeing death everywhere <laughs> is actually beyond beautiful. And then when he finally gets room to rest, he can't. He's having like an anxiety attack. He's constantly breathing. He's out of control of his body. And he just, he wants so hard to be in control of his body. He's struggling so hard. I've had a lot of moments of these in the past and extremely dangerous moments of these in the past to where I just, I want to do anything in order to just get in control of my body again. I hate being out of control of my body. And to see another character portray this so accurately and like so real, it really like struck a nerve in me and like, it just felt so real to me. Ah. Hey, boys! Puss! Puss, we're here! Where's he going? This scene hits harder than anyone I think will really know in their life for me. Puss has built up this relationship with his friends, and it all gets torn away once he starts running away from death. Like, nobody can feel what Puss is going through except for Puss. And as he runs by, his friends are just like, so disappointed and you're just like where is he going fear and anxiety will take over your mind and thoughts and will make you do crazy things that you probably shouldn't even think of doing your mind is just so focused on like survival and what's best for your body and mind that like it doesn't really matter right at that moment if you have like supportive friends right there by you and so what puss feels is that he needs to get control of his body again he needs to feel like you know, in control of his life again. But what they see, they see him running away. They see Puss is disappointing us again and like doing his own thing. They don't realize the gravity of the situation. Still the same old Puss in Boots. But I am not, I am not Puss in Boots. I'm- Kitty is being like very judgmental, obviously very clearly so, like she has every right to be. He's messed up in the past and now he's messing up again. And so she's just like sort of done with him and I completely understand that. And Puss is just like scrambling for words. He's like, he's trying to make them understand, but he's also trying to relieve himself at the same time. It's a very conflicting moment inside of himself. Like he doesn't really want to do this he feels this is the only option to get control of himself. What's the matter? Lives flashing before your eyes? No, just one. After going through therapy, this scene just really brings it all together. All the emotions, all the feelings. After therapy, I've become like the most emotional person, basically. Like, I teared up making this video, which is kind of cringy, but it's whatever, it's what is, it is what it is. But having Puss basically have his life flash before his eyes, not lives, life, the life that he currently lived on this life, and then just finally be like, no, I'm not scared of death, I'm going to live. It really, really just, it brought everything together. Nothing as of yet has made me feel that much emotion when I'm watching it almost every single time. It's been three, four times now because I actually just rewatched it while trying to make this video. I know nobody cares, but I just wanted to like share my feelings about this movie. Like legitimately, this is like, such an important movie to me now. And plus I've been kind of like talking about things I really enjoy or just things I randomly care about. I've been having these sort of shower thought videos and it kind of fits right now. So I wanted to talk about this and here I am talking about it. Anyway, I don't know how to end this video. So have a good one, my